The OHSU Dornbecker Children's Hospital is the place where kids can get all kinds of medical help. They rely on large federal granted funds, but still must raise more money to provide life-saving treatments. Freestyle gives these kids the opportunity to show the world what we already know, that they are superstars. Freestyle is Dornbecker's premier fundraising event. It's all about the tennis shoes, Nike and the Air Jordan brand, with collector style treatments. These kids come to realize this is the 17th year for the fundraiser. Instead of a gathering this year of hundreds, this year they're raising funds with COVID restrictions. We had several thousand people from all around the world gathering virtually to highlight these children. Half of a heart is where my left valve did not form all the way. Ethan Ellis is one of those highlights. Like one he lived his first years without a full heart, a patient of Dornbecker since the beginning. Dornbecker was the go-to place for cardiac care. Before he was born, Ethan was diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. He had surgeries when he was five days old, at four months, and at four years. Then at 15, Ethan had to get a new heart. At 16, he's back shooting hoops and designing shoes. He was chosen to create the 2019 Freestyle Air Jordan 1. And then on the bottom, we had the heartbeat. So it was this part that made it on to the onto the ones. You know, it, it could have not been placed more perfectly. This year's freestyle event used parts of Ethan's shoe and elements of 13 other past young designers. Ethan was in on the unboxing event too. Every kid who had a, who had a part on this shoe, man, congratulations to them. One of the things that's true about modern medicine is it can be incredibly expensive. Dornbecker utilizes philanthropy to cover an, an enormous amount of that funding. The virtually freestyle event auctioned off 17 pairs of the special edition Air Jordan 1 What the Dornbecker. 16 of those went in an eBay auction to raise more than $570,000, each pair bringing in from twenty dollars to $50,000. Those shoes provide a big step towards the hospital's mission. You know, it's it's a very, very nice shoe. Like, I, I asked if I could take it home with me. So uh, I, I never got a response. But At Dornbecker, every child that comes to us gets our full level of care regardless. Every child, every time. I'm Stephen Redlin, KGW News.